What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We've got the number 8 billion popping up all over, but trust me, it's in a positive sense. We're going to get into all the details today in this Ripple and Stellar video. Also, big news coming out of Africa with both Ripple and Stellar. Going to get into that as well. All we ever ask is if you do like this type of content, you like XRP, XLM videos, smash that like button below. Give us a big thumbs up. Definitely helps get that algorithm going as well as join our community. It's absolutely free. Just smash that subscribe button while you're down there if you haven't already joined us in this community. Now, XRP up slightly on the day, 2.2% up, sitting at 38.5 cents. We've got a stellar XLM down below 10 cents still. 0 0.092 up 1.6 percent on the day first story of the day as ripple labs is getting an inch closer to a victory against sec the firm is preparing for a great launch in the next few days shout out to michael branch for this ripple aims to strengthen the crypto sector in uk by transforming it and this is what i have been talking a little bit about some of you as well in the comments section have been talking about how it does doesn't necessarily mean that we have to win a hundred percent in the United States of course we want to come out on top uh, with this case we want to beat the SEC we want soft regulation here in the US where I'm located but the UK gets it other countries in the world get it and Brad Garlinghouse has even said in the past look when they do big meetings with when they sit down with big executives and other companies they don't tend to care that much about what is happening with the SEC case here in the States because they are on board already. And you see that right here. See, the UK has been a, a significant country in facilitating crypto space among its users. Moreover, the UK's economic security previously confirmed that the UK government is leaning towards amplifying the UK's position as a crypto-friendly country in the world with recently appointed Prime Minister, hopefully I don't butcher this, Rishi Sunak. Uh, ambush ambitious goals on implementing the crypto sector. Beautiful, beautiful things to see. Ripple says, we're thrilled to announce that our on-demand liquidity uh, solution is expanding via our partnership NMS MFS Africa. Africa holds, check this out, 70% of the world's 1 trillion mobile money value and ODL will further enhance digital payment rails across the continent. This is why we've been talking about for a while now. Understand that this continent, uh, Africa, is moving faster in innovation than other any other continent because there is so much progress being done there. There's so much opportunity. There's so much building being done. So we are seeing a ton of tech companies, whether they're in the stock market or crypto market, move in, penetrate the con uh, continent of Africa because they see the massive potential with the, the technology boom that is happening in Africa. So we talk 8 billion. Here's CZ Binance says 8 billion people will use crypto in a few years. So that's one, right? So you have that. Next, Stellar serves for 8 billion people as virtual debit card. What are they talking about here? Article comes out today. It says, Stellar Lumen served for 8 billion people as virtual debit card thanks to th this new partnership. Peer-to-peer -peer decentralized platform Stellar is undertaking a new and ambitious in initiative to bring solutions, especially in the under penetrated re regions. And that's what I'm talking about with Africa. For this, Stellar recently announced its partnership with fintech firm Fonbank or Fon BNK by leveraging its existing network of mobile phone accounts, Fon BNK plans to provide financial on-ramps and cash 
based economies. Even in 2022, nearly, check this out, 350 million people in Africa don't have access to bank accounts. Besides, only 20% of families have formal bank accounts. So that's what we talk about, making moves in these continents, in these countries that are underbanked and unbanked. And that is exactly where Ripple and Stellar will dominate in the cross-border payment game. And Daniel Dixon, the CEO of Stellar, says it right here, as as real as it gets. You see the headline through Stellar, 350 uh, million people in Africa don't have access to bank accounts and only 20% of families have formal bank accounts. This provides real world solutions to this problem by turning 8 billion active prepaid SIM cards globally into virtual debit cards with Stellar. You got to absolutely love it. Last but not least, I wanted to put this on your radar because this is something we talk about here quite often on the channel about how wanting to be in the cryptos, at least I know a lot of you out there do in the community want to be with the cryptos that are friendly with the regulators and that have been making moves behind behind the scenes and Danielle Dixon has been doing just that. I've been before Congress three or four different times and every single time I am there to talk about use cases. And frankly, it's incumbent upon all of us to be there to talk about use cases. And that's exactly it, isn't it? Because as we are in the depths of this nasty crypto winter, this brutal bear market that we have been in for several, several months now, who is going to make it out of this bear market at the end of the day and shine once the bull market comes? crypto companies with real utility and real use case and that's all i got for you today i'm Bolt money hope you all enjoyed the content don't forget to smash the like button if you haven't already feel free to subscribe if you haven't already you know we love all your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section so we can talk co collectively as a community and i will see you all in our next ripple and stellar video